Okay, so today I wanted to talk about a topic that people have brought up in the past, but I do not see much recognition on it right now, and I feel like it deserves some, because this could be something big. So today, we are talking about David Bowie. Now, if you don't know, he ended up passing away, I believe, January 10th of 2016, two days after his final album, Black Star, released. Um, it's an amazing album. It's like a mix of, like, jazz rock, I would say, but it's mostly leaning jazz-based, but great. So after Black Star and after he ended up passing away, a couple days later, it was revealed that there apparently are tracks, like demo recordings, that we have never heard yet. And I know, I know what people are going to say. Oh, what about, where the hell is it at? People are like, oh, what about his album, No Plan? This came out, this came out a year after, this is, this is stuff that was supposed to be for another album. But I will say, yes, you are correct. But what a lot of people on Reddit and all that have said is that it is his final recordings. And if you can see on this hype sticker, final studio recordings. I don't know if that was just them being a play on words or if that was just them doing that because. But yeah, these are the final studio recordings. So for people who don't know this one, the No Plan EP... It is sided with Lazarus, which is from Blackstar, is one of the singles off it. So, this originally released as a four-track bonus disc to the Lazarus soundtrack in October of 2016. That's the only reason I got it, and this got its official release January 8th, 2017, with multiple vinyl variants. I have a solid black one, I have like a crystal blue one, and then I have a clear one right here. This is the one you saw. What What's these other tracks about? So, um... So according to sites like Stereo Gum, NME, and Billboard, which is where I found a lot of this info again, when they talked to um, the producer, Tony Visconti, apparently David Bowie was ready to go back into the studio with more music. Apparently he thinks he had a couple months left because apparently Bowie was very like excited to work on these. And basically the cancer that he had just ended up like hightailing and just took him out too fast, unfortunately. So according to Visconti, there are about five demos. That's kind of the number I've heard. I've heard one or two say it was six. I've heard one say three, but it's the majority is five. My first thing that I thought in my mind was like, what were the three tracks, No Plan, Killing a Little Time, and When I Met You recorded for? Because these are finished. These are like perfect endings. I was just like, what are they here for? And they got me thinking on two answers. These are basically theories, so don't, like, say these are facts. For the one, they were outtakes from Black Star, and if Bowie was to end up surviving a little more, maybe these would have been on a deluxe edition. Or two, these are finished tracks that would have been for the next project. Now, a lot of people were saying prior that No Plan EP was the final recordings, and they never said anything about the hype sticker saying studio recordings, which is why I pointed that out. Because that's a very interesting way of putting it. Because for some artists, you would put the final recordings of said person. You wouldn't put final studio recordings. That's where, like, the gears in my brain start working up. <laughs> but yeah, the hype sticker said that, so if they were outtakes from Blackstar, that would probably have been a deluxe edition. And if they were to follow up, that means it could have ended up following this jazz rock style that Black Star did, because these are very jazz rock related, with, um, what is it, Killing a Little Time having, like, the heaviest feeling, No Plan being more ambient, if that makes sense. Compared to any of these, I'm not counting Lazarus, because that's been released prior, I'm talking about the three. So, like, When I Met You is kind of, it kind of feels like it's in the same lane as, um, I Can't Give Everything Away, just from how I see it. Yeah, so a lot of people have said prior, that, oh, it's home recordings, no one wants to hear home recordings. So, what's this? You know, the home recording demos that were, um, if I'm correct, these were all off of just, like, a home tape or whatever the hell. Um, I had the box set for the Clairville Groove demos, the Mercury Sessions or whatever the hell they were called. Basically, if you look it up, there's a lot of home recordings that they release, and this one... And what I think is cool, I'll show you this quick, just because I'm a music nerd. So it does come with, like, that stuff. 
but these are apparently what the labels would have looked like for this stuff. So I have it in a protective sleeve, because this is cardboard, but that's how it looks. Space Oddity, and then we have Angel Grubby Face version 2 and another Space Oddity Xer. Basically, if you want to hear all of these and not have to buy the box sets, the Conversation Piece box set has everything, and I believe that's all CDs. So, yeah, they have no problem doing that, or even... And the more recent one, the um, Rock and Roll Star box set that has a lot of Ziggy era um, home recordings. It even has a hotel recording of what Mooney's Daydream originally was, which was called So Long Sixties. So, yeah, that's weird. But then, it, and then it clicked in my mind: the 10-year anniversary of Bowie's passing, and Black Star is in two years. With those five demos still kind of out in the wilderness, maybe for a 10th anniversary we will get another demo EP. Which, honestly, I think fans would eat it up. Especially since a lot of people seem to praise the demo recordings and the alternate takes and all that. They seem to keep them in high praise because, again, like I said in the Taylor Swift thing, I believe I mentioned this in there about preserving music and, like, releasing music. This is important. This is something that preserves music and should be documented basically because it's history it's music history and if we don't save it it will be lost i would say keep an eye out in the next two years we might get some notification of a demo ep because also someone else mentioned the um the last box set in the series has not come out if even following his box set series like the five years, um, who can I be now, all that shit, the Berlin Trilogy one I believe was in there. The last one being Brilliant Adventures. That only went up to 2001 and that did have the lost album that was officially released toy. But, we have not gotten anything from 2002 I must say. 2002? To the ending. And that has not been announced yet so... We are missing box set versions of Heathens, Reality, The Next Day, and the final album, Black Star. And I would guess they would put No Plan in there as well. And I think that might be where they end up throwing the last EP. They're going to throw it in there first. And then they're going to put it out as, I would say, it's going to be a record store day release in some way or sort. Maybe an official, like a big one, or the Black Friday one. It's going to be released as a record store day thing. Kind of like they did with the Bowie Toy 1, the EP, you made it with all the toys. It's going to be something like that, I think. What if No Plan EP was just outtakes, and these demos are completely different? Because if you know Bowie's stuff, he seems to kind of change up how each album sounds. Every album seems to have its own characteristic. So what if this one is a folk rock one? Or even what if it's like metal? What if, what if Bowie said, fuck it, we're doing a metal one for the next one? We don't know what they are. We don't know the names. We don't know nothing about them. But they could be anything. So what are your thoughts? I would love to know this down in the comments. And if you liked the video, let me know down below. Like, subscribe, share, do whatever. See you in the next one.